By the end of this video, you'll be able to b-hop and heal and change directions all at the same time. I'm Pesky Frank and first I'm going to teach you how to bunny hop and then I'm going to teach you how to bunny hop heal just like the pros. First we need to bind scroll wheel down to jump. This makes b-hopping 10 times easier and if you haven't switched already, you need to. We also need a change to hold to crouch, not toggle crouch. Because if you use toggle crouch, each time you jump, you're going to stand up and you'll need to hit crouch again. Now the steps of the bunny hop are slide jump, hold crouch, and jump just before you touch the ground. For those musically inclined, you should bunny hop at 135 beats per minute, which sounds like this. Once you can B hop, we can start changing directions. Start the bunny hop and hold A to turn left and hold D to turn right. But don't turn your mouse too sharp or you'll lose all your momentum. If you hold W and A and bunny hop to the left, your turn isn't as sharp and you have to move your mouse a lot more. But if you release W and only hold A, your turn is much sharper. All right, now this is actually super cool. Check this out. You can start B hopping from a crouch position with zero speed. In order to do this, you need to hit jump, hold A or D and turn your screen more than 45 degrees from your starting position, then bunny hop. If you turn your screen less than 45 degrees from where you're looking before you jumped, you'll just bounce on the spot. But turning more than 45 degrees will give you a bunch of speed after you hit that first bunny hop. Okay, so what do we do with this information? Well, if you start losing speed during a bunny hop, you can change directions. To do this, jump, release A and hold D and turn your screen more than 45 degrees. Hitting A and D like this is called alternating B hopping. This is the best way to gain speed or maintain your speed when we start b-hop healing. Now, 500 milliseconds or a half second after you hit your button to heal, your speed decreases to 104 units. This is healing speed and we want to avoid this. We want to start with the most speed possible when we start bunny hop healing. And we can do this by slide healing. The steps to the slide heal is hit your button to start healing, hit crouch and jump to slide jump. If you only hold W while trying to bunny hop, you'll slowly lose your momentum. This is where alternating B hops comes in. Alternating B hops allows you to keep your momentum. This is how to bunny hop heal. First, start with a slide jump and then alternate between left and right bunny hops. Two legends actually have a distinct advantage over every other legend when it comes to bunny hopping. Octane can pop a stim and B hop heal to maintain his speed much easier than any other legend. And Horizon's passive has increased air control, which allows her to turn more sharp when b-hopping. Now alternating b-hops will keep you moving in a straight line, so you need to practice doing 90 degree turns when b-hopping to get behind cover and heal safely. Once you can slide heal and change directions in a b-hop, it's time to learn how to pedo strafe to carry your sprinting speed forwards. If you found this tutorial helpful or learned anything at all, make sure you leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to see tutorials just like this one and future videos coming every single day.